The twenty-third lesson. Jimmy's dream. Continued. Jimmy smiles. He hears a noise in the chimney, but he is not a bit afraid. He knows what it means. It means that Santa Claus himself is sliding down the chimney. Jimmy looks into the fireplace. Here he is, at last, with his big felt boots and his large fur coat and his big bag full of presents. Hello, boy, Santa Claus cries joyfully. Are you still in bed? For shame, boy. Get up, quick. Help me to brush the soot off my coat. That will do. Thank you. And now you must kiss me right on my red nose. Look here, red boy. What's the matter with you? Santa Claus asks. Why don't you answer? Aren't you glad to see me? Jimmy the carrot wants to say that he is extremely glad to see him, but he cannot. His lips move without saying a word. Oh, you are dumb. You cannot speak. I see. You are deaf as well, are you? Santa Claus asks. Jimmy shakes his head. Oh, I see. You aren't deaf. You are only dumb. That's better. Then let us go for a walk in the sky. Can you fly, red boy? Again, Jimmy shakes his head. Oh, you cannot fly. Still, let us try. It's so easy, Santa Claus says, and rises into the air. Jimmy looks up. There is no ceiling. It has disappeared. He sees the moon and lots of stars. Jimmy raises his arms and follows Santa Claus into the night sky. Now, boy, help me to gather the stars. Be careful, they will prick your fingers, Santa Claus says and opens his big bag. Jimmy flies very high among the soft clouds, picking stars and throwing them into the bag. The stars are made of large diamonds. They are awfully beautiful. They shine and sparkle, but they prick like hedgehogs. Don't touch the moon, red boy. It is made of ice cream and is very cold. You may catch cold, Santa Claus says. Jimmy likes ice cream better than anything in the world, but he is afraid of Santa Claus. He flies around the moon, high and low. High and low. How pleasant it is to fly. When Santa Claus is not looking at Jimmy, the boy licks the moon. It is so sweet. I shall bite a little piece off the moon, Jimmy thinks to himself, and he flies up to the very edge of it. How dare you disobey, Santa Claus cries, turning to him and frowning. Jimmy feels his face turn pale. He moves his lips, but cannot say anything. Why don't you answer, you naughty boy? Santa Claus cries angrily. If you don't answer immediately, you shall not have any presents. The carrot tries to say something, but instead of speaking, he puts out his tongue at Santa Claus. Ah, so, Santa Claus cries. You are putting out your tongue at me. Just wait. I'll show you how to tease me. With these words, Santa Claus pulls Jimmy's stocking out of his bag and empties it. Jimmy's heart is ready to burst. He sees a lot of beautiful toys tumbling topsy-turvy down, down, down. Don't, don't, Jimmy cries. At this moment, the boy opened his eyes and saw his mother standing by his bed. What's wrong, honey? she asked. Mammy, the boy said and stopped. Yes, darling, his mother said, bending over his little bed. For shame, dear. How can you sleep so long? Ma, Santa Claus, the carrot began. 
Of course, honey, Mrs. Dale said. Santa Claus has put something nice into my boy's stocking, and my naughty lazy boy doesn't want to see what it is. Jimmy jumped out of his bed like a squirrel and ran to the fireplace. Oh, Mammy, oh, only look here, the boy gasped. Carrot, Mrs. Dale cried. Carrot, put on your slippers at once. You'll catch cold, you will. Mammy, Mammy, do look here. He's put a motor car and a box of coloured pencils and a big copy book and... Oh, oh, Mammy! How good Santa Claus is! How awfully good! Oh, Mammy! I do love him! And you too, Mummy! And Daddy! Well, and Polly! I do love you! And Lily! And Roombo and Sam! I love all of you! I do! The boy could not speak any longer. He was too happy.